How's it going everybody? It's been a long old while since I've put up a video and that's for multiple reasons. We're not going to get too far into that because who's interested in why someone hasn't posted? Nobody! I have did my full license and got myself a real bike. Can anybody guess what it is? If you've got any ideas leave it in the comment section below. Some of you I'm sure will get it but a lot of you probably won't. We're going to pull over in a minute and I'm going to give you a little taster as to what it is. A little look-see. But there's no insignias on the tank, no badges or anything. So it might be difficult for a few of you to uh, to guess what it is if you're not in the bizzo of motorcycles. A few clues. It's turquoise in colour. It's loud. It's fast. It's powerful. It is not a Harley Davidson. Yeah, I think that should be enough enough hints. I'm actually on my way to work right now, but we're going to take a little detour and we're going to pull up in the local uh, car park in this area. Uh, get off the bike and give you all a look-see. But this is just beautiful and she handles great. We've got some work to do and over the next few weeks I'll give you some more information about the bike like why I chose it, what work has to be done, etc. But for now, let's just uh, check this out. A bit cold tonight, but it is nice. Magpies, salute the magpies. Yeah, that'll do. So, have any of you guessed it yet? Last chance. I bought myself a Suzuki Intruder 1400 1997 model. And isn't she pretty? Isn't she pretty? I mean, I am absolutely in love with this bike. I really am. There's really not much I can fault on it. I mean, it's got age-related marks that we'll clean up. You know, we've got a bit of rust in places. Nothing that can't be polished up and replaced. Cobra twin drag pipes. Which sound beautiful in person. I'm hoping they sound good on film as well. But overall, I mean, look at the chrome. And these are all original. Loving the uh, the engine bar. Engine guard. Original grips. Original handlebars. Like I said, it's an import. So it's in kilometers an hour. So <laughs> the previous owners put stickers on it for miles per hour. Not sure how accurate they are. And... The sissy needs cleaning up a bit, but I love the fact that it's not stock. The stock one's a square, and this one's triangular, and it just, it gives it that aggressive finish. It's awesome. We do have mufflers in the pipes, sorry, baffles in the pipes at the moment. I'm gonna take them out in a day or two, just to see how she sounds and how she rides. I don't want it to be obnoxious, but it's just be interesting to uh, to see. So there she is, folks. She's absolutely beautiful. For those of you wondering, the reason there's a sticker on the front here is because this is an import. The reflective section of the uh, of the lens it's designed for the other side of the road. So anybody who's ever gone on holiday from the UK to Europe, uh, you'll know that you have to put like reflectors on the lens of your headlights so that they go they don't go into people's eyes because they're designed for a certain side of the road this can be replaced if i feel like it and put a british uh, british sort of standards one in 
but for now I think she's beautiful I'm so happy to be back on the road 1400 cc I mean it's insane the torque on her is amazing But now that our wheels are all powdered up from this horrible gravel, we're gonna have to take it slow until we put some miles on her. This is a not a good car park to be riding a bike in, really. But the gravel here is terrible. I've done a lot of work to her uh, to get her running. When I bought her, she was absolutely non-running, and what I mean by that is. I couldn't even attempt to turn her over using the ignition switch because there was no battery in it. I took a hell of a gamble buying this bike, but I was pretty confident that I could get her running again and we did. She's still got some stuff that needs taken care of, which we'll be doing over the coming days and weeks, certain generic maintenance and servicing, replacing certain parts that have been worn out but I'm gonna keep you all in the loop this time because although there is the odd video on YouTube about Suzuki Marauders there isn't loads I'd like to change that <laughs> gets their attention that's for sure so that's it for today guys, I just wanted to give you this little video to introduce the new bike, to let you know that the channel is still alive and um, hopefully there'll be plenty more videos coming your way over the coming weeks and months. If you're into motorbikes, if you like these sorts of bikes, feel free to hit that subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up and I'll catch you again in the next video. All the best.